हेलो फ्रेंड्स जहान जेब फ्राम लर्निंग जोन दिस इज़ वन ऑफ माई वीडियो इन विच आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट रिलेज दिस इज़ वन ऑफ दिगर बिगर रिले विच आई फाउंड इन इंडस्ट्री दिस रिलेज आर कॉमन इन इंडस्ट्री सो यू कैन सी वॉट इज़ रिटर्न इन द फ्रंट द फ्रंट नेम प्लेट जस्ट इट इज शोइंग सम राइटिंग विच इज़ इन चाइनीज ऑफकोर्स समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वोल्ट आई कैन सी एंड द रेस्ट आई एम नॉट एबल टू रीड और अंडरस्टैंड एनी हाउ आई एम एबल टू गो इन साइड इन दिस रिले एंड आई विल बी एबल टू ओपन द कवर एंड लेट एस सी वॉट इज इन साइड एंड वी विल एक्सप्लेन आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू हाउ द रिले वर्कस एंड यू विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ आ रिले वर्कस सो दिस अग साइड साइज रिले आई सेलेक्टेड होपफुली यू विल लर्न समथिंग फ्राम दिस इफ द पीपल हु आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियोज एंड दे आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल सो दे विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ रिले इज वर्क एंड वॉट इज रिले वॉट इज इन साइड अ रिले Uh, so if this was okay this is not okay this relay is broken inside i will show you in a little time this relay had seen some bad days so let us see if this was okay so this screw would be infected but it is not and let us open the cover so after opening the cover as you can see in the relay what is there is there are two main parts one is the electromagnetic coil and there, then there is a set of contacts these are the contacts and here is the magnetic coil so this coil has a supply these uh, lines they are the they, here you can see the two lines which is which should be over here which should be soldered over here and now it is not intacted it is cut so that's why the relay is broken here you can see the relay is broken as i said that this relay had seen some bad days uh, so hopefully you people will understand what is going on the electromagnetic coil this has a function that it is producing an electromagnet what is the function of the what is the property of electromagnet is while we are providing 250 volts 220 volts over here 230 volts over here to this coil it this coil is magnetized and it is uh, attracting attracting this armature this piece of metal this is known as this is a soft metal actually a mild steel piece so this metal is attracted towards the coil something like this and there is a spring downside as you can see here is a spring the spring could be over here could be in the side anywhere the spring could be located but in this particular model the spring is located underneath downside over here uh, so when power is provided to this uh, to these two points i mean to the coil so the coil is magnetized and it is attracting this armature towards the coil and then here is the contact set these contacts are changing how they are changing let us see something like this while it is attracted these two coils these two contacts as you can see these two there are two set of contacts one set is over here the second set is over here uh, there are total four contacts in each set all are eight contacts so you can see these are closed at the moment so these are known as normally closed contacts while there is no power to the relay these coils uh, these contacts are connected together these contacts are known as normally closed this set uh, this set of contact and this set of contact mm. then while we will provide the power to this relay these contacts will go open and these contacts will go close something like this as you can see as by, by my finger i am showing that the power is provided to the coil actually we are not providing but i am providing force by my finger so i am simulating the situation while power will be provided to the coil the electromagnetic coil and electromagnet will be pro produced and it will attract the armature towards the coil and then this situation will happen so this is the way a relay works i mean we are supplying power to the coil a small power small amount of power is provided to the coil which is making electro an electromagnet and that electromagnet is attracting a piece of metal and coil uh, contact set is connected to that piece of metal and contacts are changing their state so this change of state is we are using in our circuit um, we are we we are able to pass much more current as compared to this current this should be, this would be something in milliamperes and here we can control some 5 5 ampere to 10 ampere circuit and in some relays we can control even more something like hundreds of amperes if the big contacts we provide so we can control hundreds of amperes through such relay but those relays are bigger in size they are known as contactor which are used normally for the motors so people hopefully you learned something from this video if you learned something from this video give a big thumbs up so support my channel and please uh, 
subscribe my channel, press on bell icon, press on all so you will get notifications for each upload. Thank you for watching.